there if he's in a distant land. Yes. You will not find alone at home by yourself. Amen. You can find the opportunity to yell. Amen. 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 Anywhere on the that any two of you to touch and agree upon anything that you'll have on this earth. So by having someone else to agree with you in prayer gives you a, a better opportunity, a better chance of getting your prayer answered. Amen. Amen. And you cannot learn how to flow and get agree with each other if you don't spend time spouting a little shit. Amen. 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 You can have a relationship in your family, biological <laughs> family, but not have communion, fellowship, and intimacy. Amen. Amen. And that is a common thing in our generation. Yes. Especially in the United States. They call them dysfunctional cultures. Amen. 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 No relationships. If they have one, it's not good. Amen. Then you find those that are. And you know, one time, and I'm going to say this, and I hope I don't get no black guy, but they used to show a program. I'm going to call it by name. I thought like you, but I'll probably get some people criticized stuff they don't remember about. Mm -hmm. A wholesome thing. Yep. Of the uh, dark persuasion of the human race. Showing the compliment that they had made in life and had established themselves as a outstanding uh, citizen in the community and raising their child's children correctly. Mm -hmm. And uh, they didn't want us to have that kind of image in front of us. Mm -hmm. So they destroyed that and started putting up all these dysfunctional things mm -hmm. on TV. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yes. You're looking at me funny. Is it true? What do you want to believe it or not? Mm -hmm. Now we see what we have. Yes. The end result. Mm -hmm. Sad, heartbreaking, or heartbreaking, but true. Pastor, you might ask me, what can we do? Intercede and pray that the restoration to morality and integrity in our leaders where they'll stop doing things to undermine and destroy society and start doing things that will build us and bring us together. Amen. 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 Stop siding with the evil one and start siding with the creator who created us all to live in harmony and peace with each other. Scripture actually says, follow peace with all of them. Mm -hmm. Acts it, uh, to the peace with all men as much as lies with me in you. Amen. Amen. But they're doing everything they can to divide us. Why did God put into the family structure father, mother, son, daughter? It was to teach our teach respect and honor for authority. Mm -hmm. So now you have those that are pushing for chaos and division and strife, hoping that they can achieve their agenda by creating chaos and saying that they can come back and rebuild it and put it together in a better Matter of form. First of all, if they have some kind of misguided notion that people would trust them after they destroyed everything, put it back together right, how can they even know how to put it back together right? Thank you. Hello? Amen. After their own lives are in disarray. Mm -hmm. Probably what I'm saying. All right. I could touch on a whole lot of things tonight, but I don't want to get too deeply in that, but in order for us to see and understand what is happening and to be able to get back where we need to be, I need to touch on a little bit of it. When father and mother respected in the home, you didn't have all the kids going to jail. Nope. Amen. But when they lost that respect for father and mother, and the commandment in the Bible, mm -hmm. one of the commandments were honored by father and mother, and it's the only commandment with promise. 
that your days may be long upon the face of earth. And now young people die faster than ever with Jesus. Amen. Amen. Because they're rejecting. If you study the chapter of the Romans for all those that want to fight against God and establish authority, there is an avenger. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Whether you can see him or not. There are those that are seen and those that are not seen, but there's an avenger that will avenge mm -hmm. God's word. So when people rebel against God's word, they release that avenger. And until we recognize that, we're going to never, <laughs> see, never see our son come back to heal again. Because it's going to continue to be division, strife, hello, what that other word is? Chaos. Because people believe that they can do what they want to do, and there will be consequences. Until we recognize that there is an established order, it must be followed, it must be adhered to, our things will fall apart. We will always be struck. Mm -hmm. Third chapter, book of Genesis. We are starting. I'm still on the baptism of the Holy Ghost, but tonight I'm going to talk about God has restored his spirit to man. Genesis, the third chapter, we all know the story. It talks about how the woman was at the tree of the mouth of good and evil. And there was a little weekly thing that at the time that walked up right decided he was going to tempt the woman. Hello? Say, Ye had God saved. And that's what people are saying today. In colleges and governmental offices, many of them are saying, Yea, has God saved? Hello? Mm -hmm. To many things that God saved. They are repeating the same age old lie of temptation that Satan did in the garden. Mm -hmm. With the first woman. Are you hearing? Yeah. He had changed his tactics. Amen. Sin is a transgression against God's law or God's will. Mm -hmm. So the devil comes along and says, Well, yeah, did God really say that? So you got this new thing coming out now. They left out some of the books from the Bible because they couldn't verify them. Mm -hmm. They didn't leave them out just, just to keep you from knowing stuff. They left them out because they only had bits and pieces of and they couldn't verify that it was authentic and what, what author it really came from. Amen. Are you hearing? Amen. Even when you read what some say that was put in the Apocrypha or put in the Ethiopian Bible, the uh, books of Enoch, they're all partial. Mm -hmm. They don't have a full canon of Enoch's books. So the, 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 the fathers felt to leave that out that they would create confusion. Mm -hmm. Amen. So you got those now that are coming up that are trying to use that to call people to doubt the authenticity of the scripture. But when you really research the Bible, you realize that it was put together miraculously. Amen. It could not have been done by me. Mm -hmm. It was impossible. Study it, research it, go all the way back. It was formulated and it had to be done by God's divine will. And I'm grateful for that. Amen. Amen. But if you go fast forward, it said all scripture is given by the inspiration of God. Amen. All of a sudden, the Lord in the whole spectre, that they were moved by, they came out in the old time by the will of men, but over in the whole spectre, that they were moved by the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. So it's a revelation to me when I did study and research on the Bible about the scripture, I came and the scripture was put together. I began to understand that man would not have done this. Mm -hmm. He would did everything in his power to keep it from being given to us. But he couldn't stop it. For a long time, we did not have it in. Uh, the ordinary man, the common man, did not have the scripture in their language. God raised up a heathen king mm -hmm. to order the translation of the scripture. His motive was to take the power away from the Roman Catholic Church, but the fact mm -hmm. was, God used that yes. <laughs> to uh, give us Amen. common people the revelation of his will and purpose for our lives. Mm -hmm. So we thank God, even though he was an unsaved man, maybe I hope he was saved before he died, uh, 
that God used him. And throughout the scripture, whether y'all realize it or not, nobody in the Old Testament was saved. Amen. Amen. Not based on New Testament teaching about what salvation is. Hello. Amen. And for all that that don't know this, only Elijah and, and Enoch didn't go to hell. Amen. Amen. Well, I get a whole lot of flack back on that, but that don't matter. I love to teach. I love to teach. That's right. All Old Testament saints went to hell, except Elijah and Enoch. And anyone in this house tell me why Elijah and Enoch didn't go to hell? Because they were translated <laughs> that they should not see them. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. So that's something that a lot of people don't even realize that everyone at that time, even though they were righteous or uh, sinner, went to hell. Mm -hmm. Now there were two compartments, but it was still hell. Right. One compartment was called paradise, and the other was called Shiko. Mm -hmm. So we're looking at a, 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 a lack of learning, lack of teaching in churches everywhere. And people are being deceived to believe that God left something out to hold the candle. Mm -hmm. Well, if Jesus, everything Jesus done would have been written in a book, the world couldn't hold the book. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what was written in this book? Principle. Mm -hmm. The basis for why God, who God is, hello somebody. Amen. Who man is. Hello. And God's relationship to that man, and man's relationship to him. That's it. And the history of that relationship. Now, if the serpent said to the woman, Did God say? And that's always been a problem. Yeah, God. Yeah, that's God said. And she went on, you know, the discourse. Everybody knows the discourse. And uh, she added one thing to it that God didn't say, but still, she was trying to wrestle with it. I always ask the question, and I'm moving on. I always ask the question, What was she doing that tree start with? <laughs> it was forbidden. Why was she there? Maybe that's where they got their old adage nowadays, uh, curiosity kills the cat. Mm -hmm. That's where Satan comes from. Mm -hmm. yeah. You can always see it there. A man is led away to temptation by his own no. desire. Yeah, own desire. And after that desire has conceived, it brings forth sin. Mm -hmm. And after sin has conceived, it brings forth death, uh, each other separated, uh, separated from God. So this happened. Am I right? So let's go to the 22nd verse. What do you mean to separate from God? And the Lord God said, Behold, the man had become as one of us to know good and evil. And now lest he put forth his hand and take also the tree of life and eat and live forever. Therefore the Lord God sent him forth from the garden of Eden to till the ground from which he was taken. So he drove out the man, and he placed at the east of the garden of Eden a sheriff and a flaming sword, which turned every way to keep the way of the tree of life. Can I get an amen? amen. St. John, the first chapter. The Gospel according to St. John, the first chapter. What we were called in the New Testament. I don't know everything, but I know a little bit. I'll share that with you. I want you to listen to these words, and I want you really to think in the heart. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. Hello? Amen. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shined in darkness, and the darkness, what? Amen. You still have people that do not want to believe in a I don't like to use the word physical, but I won't have, I'm going to have to use that word in order for us to have reference point. There are people that still, they believe in Christ, mm -hmm. but they don't believe in a physical Christ, right. an embodied Christ. Mm -hmm. They believe that all of us have a consciousness called Christ. Mm -hmm. They fell and bumped their head because that is anti-Christ. Right. But they didn't tell somebody, mm -hmm. 
denying that Jesus came in the flesh is anti-Christ. So they that deny that Christ is body are anti-Christ. So it said there was a man sent from God whose name was John. The same thing, what to bear witness of the light, and all men through him might believe. He was not that light, but was sent to bear witness of that light. That was the true light, which what? Lighteneth every man that cometh into the world. The fourth verse said, In him was life, and the life was the light of me. Every day, Father, we thank you. We praise you, we honor you, we glorify you, we exalt you, and lift you up. For you are worthy, and you are more than worthy. There's nothing we can do to earn salvation. All we can do is accept it by giving up our own life and receiving Jesus' life. Adam, our ancestor, our forefather, walked away from the tree of life. He departed from it because he chose to follow the woman and the woman chose to listen to the serpent. As Jesus came into the earth to show us the way back to you, I pray that that same revelation by the Spirit of God will manifest in this house and throughout these airwaves as we stream through Facebook and YouTube. That there will be a move of your spirit in the name of your Yeshua. Father God, to bring the revelation that Jesus has come to restore that life that Adam could have had. If he had gone to the tree of life and never took the fruit of good and evil, that led him to get separated from the source of life. Father, I know Jesus did not come to keep us from going to hell. He came to restore us the right relationship and fellowship with you. Give your people this revelation. Help them to understand why he came. In your precious name, Yeshua, Jesus of Nazareth, I pray that once today, amen. Amen. And amen again. Amen. Look again uh, at the sixth chapter of the book of Genesis. I said, you're all over the Bible. I can be, I'm, I'm, this is my plan. So I can stand here and talk about it, but I want to take you through. I want you to see it right in the notes now. People back and teach you. If you're a child of God, you can teach the word of God. Amen. Amen. You don't have to have no license. You're ordained by no ecclesiastical body. If you're a child of God, you call the preacher God. Amen. The problem is everybody wants to go to the building. Keep told you going on. What? The world. The world. The preacher God for who? Same thing. Every, every preacher. Can I get another amen? amen? The first verse said, And it came to pass when men began to multiply on the face of the earth, and the daughters were born unto them. And I'm not going to get into this. There's a whole lesson behind this. A whole big book, books and books and books, Bible books on this first two verses. <laughs> that the sons of God saw the daughters of men that they were fair, and they took them wives of all which they chose. This is the point I want to get to. And the Lord said, My spirit shall not always strive with man, but that he also is flesh, yet his days shall be 120 years. I want to go to the uh, contemporary version of the Bible and read that same verse, 6 chapter, third verse. I want you to listen closely. Are we going somewhere? Somebody said we're going somewhere. Oh, I, I hope you go with me. Then the Lord said, I won't let my life given breath remain in anyone forever. No one will live for more than 120 years. So at that point, God limited man's life. Yes. Mm -hmm. Saying no one will live longer than 120 years. Why? When God said uh, he formed man out of the dust of the earth and breathed in the dust of the breath of life, it wasn't just breath like that. Amen. Turn to James, the second chapter. Man had become corrupt. Read the rest of the sixth chapter, then when you get a chance. But I'm, I'm trying to bring out a point here tonight. 
uh, man had become so corrupt that God's spirit could not abide with him anymore. Amen. The wages of sin, 6th chapter of Romans, 3rd, 23rd verse. The wages of sin is the transgression against God's law. The transgression against God's law is <coughs> it brings death. It brings death. death. The 26th verse of the second chapter of James. That the body without the spirit is dead. That's what I'm getting. That the body without the spirit is dead. The body without the spirit is dead. So what did God breathe in a man's nostrils? Spirit. 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 It had to be. Because the body was laying there dead. And didn't come alive until God breathed into his nostrils. But when he breathed into his nostrils, uh, St. John 4 and 24 said, God is a spirit. And y'all here know that spirit don't have breath like we got breath. Spirit don't need to breathe air. Oxygen. It don't need it. Amen. So you can suck all the oxygen out of this room and the spirit will still be here. So what God put in man was not breath in the sense we call it oxygen. It was spirit. Amen. And when the spirit leaves the body, the body is and the Apostle Paul said to be absent from the body, it will be present with the Lord. Amen. To be present in the body, it will be physically, tangibly absent from the Lord. So Paul was teaching that the real you can be absent from the body. Amen. Did y'all get that? So the real you is a spirit being. So when God said that Adam, the day he there, you shall surely die, Adam died spiritually. Amen. His spirit was cut off from fellowship with the fountain of life, which the Bible says, I think, second chapter, Jeremiah, first chapter, first chapter one, called Jesus by the Lord, the fountain of life, the fountain of living water. So when Adam disobeyed God by taking that fruit from the wife and eating it, mm -hmm. it cut him off from the fountain of life. So in dying, he died. Yes, 930 yeah. years later. Are y'all hearing what I'm saying? So when God said that his spirit would not always strive with men, his breath, his breath, his spirit, that's why the Bible said his spirit, but then, you know, the contemporary even verse one to get a little, but I, I'm glad it did, <laughs> said that man day will be cut off in 120. Mm -hmm. Amen. Now, I know they've been saying once in a one or two of them, that going to come to them, but I don't have no proof of that. <laughs> I'll have to go back with God's Amen. 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 So at that point, you can start claiming that, that, that you know, God said that. Now I know David said three score and mm -hmm. score by reading the string. Yeah. Amen. Amen. But you can claim that 120. Yeah. If you're a child of God, you're born again believer, sanctified and filled with the Holy Ghost, you can claim that 120. Mm -hmm. God said it. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. But the, what the real prophecy behind that, whether y'all may not realize it or not, the real truth behind that was that 120 years later, God destroyed the earth with a flu. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. So that was what he was prophesying. That was the prophecy that he was making. That was the prophecy. Mm -hmm. That 120 years from after that, God would destroy the earth with a flu. Mm -hmm. Man would be cut off, except for knowing his thing. Yeah. Amen. But the point I want to get at is that God's spirit separate from the body, the body dies. Eventually, it ceases to function. Amen? Amen. So, if the body was empowered by God's Spirit, Adam, to live forever, what possibly could happen if the Holy Spirit is restored? Thank you, Lord Jesus. I need to let that rest a little while. See, you could, I'm going to say this, and a lot of people get mad at me for saying this. You can't get revelation in religious churches. You can't do it. Because the natural man cannot understand the things of God. But his spiritual that is certain and encourages him. Amen. But he understands everything about the flesh. So that's all they teach and preach about. Yeah. So when you start wanting to be one of those unspiritual, you need to be a, a Bible that, that are spiritual. Amen. And I'm talking about Holy Ghost spiritual. 
So the spirit leaves the body, man dies. But when God was with Adam before Adam sinned, God's presence in Adam's life regenerated his body perpetually. Yeah. Then we find out that scripture, John, John the revelator said that Jesus was the, his, his life was the light that lightened every man that comes into the world. Now I want you to get this imagine, imagine in your mind, I want you to see this, that when you became born again, a new man was put in you with God's essence. A new man was put in you with God's essence. Amen. Lord. So that restored relationship you know what I'm saying? When Adam sinned, it broke the relationship. I like to say all the time, he was, he was reborn, but in reverse to death. So he had a dead spirit. But when he got, when man comes back to God, Titus 3 and 5 says, not all was righteous which we have done, God had saved us, but according to his mercy, through the washing of regeneration, that's the rebirth. That's fourth chapter St. John. That's the well of living water spring of everlasting life. The washing of regeneration. When that happened, man became a devil in man being Christ. He's a new creation. Old things have passed away, all things have become new. That new man now is inside you. Thank you. One new man. Jesus destroyed the middle of the between us and God, thereby making him himself a true one new man. One new man. And he had made. Uh, become our people and make both one. Now, when we understand what I just said, then we see that there's a restore. Right? Mm -hmm. Restore what? Relationship and possibly, hopefully, perhapsly, fellowship. That go, they coincide with right back to St. Justin. The other one said they have forsaken the fountain of the water when Adam walked away. Amen. See, you still got a choice. Once you become born again, to either walk away or continue on to know the Lord. Amen. The prophet said, if you continue on to know the Lord, then he will come to you in the rain and the latter rain. I can lose it right there when I'm holding on. I want to teach this. I want to minister this to you. Are you hearing? So a lot of people got born again, but they didn't take the yoke of Christ upon them and learn that they didn't continue on to know the Lord. And so they walked away. Now, because they had become born again, they have a relationship, but they don't have fellowship. Mm -hmm. Communion. Mm -hmm. Intimacy. So they don't know God like, like some people know God. Mm -hmm. They don't know God like Adam knew him before he took the food from the wife. So they go through life, just like I mentioned earlier, as a prayer chicken. Flop a little high and they fall back to the ground. They can't take off because they don't have what it takes to fly. Mm. You can't walk this walk, talk this talk, live this life in natural strength. <laughs> mm. But according to Philippians 4 13, you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Mm. 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 Lord, I refuse to let it back. Mm. Steal my toy. I refuse. Mm. 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 When we got born again, when we got reconnected in God, the scripture said in St. John 1 and 12, but as many as received him, Amen. to them, to them, to them, gave he the power to become the sons of God. Mm -hmm. There's a there's a there's a, 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 a Jewish or a medical saying that when God created Adam, 
It ain't my sin. I'm just saying that's a rabbinical Jewish saying. That when God created Adam, mm -hmm. when the angel looked down from heaven, they could tell the difference between the two. Thank you. What is man? <laughs> Genesis 1 and 26 says at the beginning, God said, let us make man his image. Mm -hmm. And after our likeness. Lord. So he looked just like God. So when the angel looked down and saw him, he couldn't tell the difference between two of them. Lord. But they looked just alike. God didn't make Adam a baby. God made Adam for a grown. <laughs> Thank you. Hello. In his image. And out of his likeness. And everything he produced out of his cat. By out of his likeness. So if Adam was created out of the likeness of God, what was he created? Like? God. So what did he lose? God likeness. He lost the essence of God. Mm -hmm. I would call it God's nature. Mm -hmm. Can verify by 2 Peter 1 4. Amen. Are you still with me? So Jesus said that as men have received him, to them gave me the power to become the sons of God, even as men have believed on his name. Now I want you to look at St. John 3 and 16. Pastor, what does it got to do with the baptism of the Holy Ghost? Don't be still dealing with the Spirit of God in your life, but we're talking about God has restored his spirit, which is the Spirit of God, the Holy Ghost. Amen. Name of two different spirits is the Holy Ghost. Aye. What I think y'all know? 316. Everybody know 316, right? <laughs> if you don't, you need to get saved. <laughs> you don't know what St. John 316 says, you need to get saved. You need to come on with all and give your life to the Lord right now. If you're watching my Facebook, YouTube, you need to buy your head and say, Lord Jesus, I believe that you died for me. <laughs> and give your life to the Lord. Wow. Right? St. John 3, 16 said, But God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, the only son of God. Only. Only begotten. That whosoever believed in him, is that knocks out when people talk about the angels were the son of God. That knocked that out. Thank you. Adam was the son of God, but guess what happened to Adam? Okay. He backlid. Mm -hmm. He lost his relationship. He died. Only one. To God. <laughs> so God said this, but he said, but God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Man. That whosoever believe in him should not perish, but what? Everlasting, everlasting life. life. Now, the writers in the King James wrote that everlasting life. And everybody started thinking that when I get saved, I get to live forever and be with God in heaven. That won't be drawn by. That was not what the Bible said we received. Thank you. So, what did we receive? Everyone turned over to the third. Excuse me. Fourth chapter of Galatians mm -hmm. and the sixth verse. And let me show you what you receive. Thank you, Lord. Better get a witness. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 I'm going to start the fourth verse. Read down to the sixth. But when the fullness of time was come, God sent forth his son, made of woman, that's over 2,000 years ago, when Mary conceived by the Holy Ghost, <laughs> made under the law, to redeem them that was under the law, that's us, us, us past sinners, that we might receive what? The adoption of sons. Uh -huh. Y'all see anything here talking about any everlasting life? And then the sick person, and because you are sons, God has what? Sent forth the spirit of his son in your hearts, crying, Abba, Father. So what did Abba lose? The spirit of God. What did God send in the sixth chapter of Genesis was not always striving with me? His spirit. His spirit. His spirit. So a man becomes disconnected from God, he dies. Spirit. Not your spirit is 930 years later, Adam died physically. Because life came from the spirit. Mm -hmm. Second chapter, Joel, I mean James, you read you, without the spirit, the, the body without the spirit is dead. dead. So it is the spirit that gives the body life. So if that spirit dies, that spirit leaves the body, the body will die. Amen. Now, why did Adam's body die? Because that life giving spirit left his body. Mm -hmm. Not his spirit, but God's spirit. 
And when we become born again, we become the children of God. God restores his spirit to us. Thank you, Lord. He sends the spirit of his son to our hearts, crying, Abba, Father. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank God for the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 Thank you. Amen. So where is it? Where is the spirit of God living? So we talk about everlasting life. They were, see, everyone was thinking of something that was apart from them that they were going to be given. Yeah. Huh? Mm -hmm. After death, to live forever in heaven with God. Mm -hmm. So everything in them was postponed. Yeah. Putting off to another period of time what God was trying to do right then. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> Praise you. The difference between religion mm -hmm. and Christianity is religion is man's effort to find God. That's, that's it. But Christianity is God came and found man. Amen. Amen. That's the difference. I was lost. Thank you. God was never lost. Yeah. God was never put out of God. Praise him. The tree of life never left the God. Yeah. Adam lived. Man lived. Yeah. And all the same, uh, man walked away from God, not God from man. Yeah. Amen. Amen. I really want this to soak in, go where I'm going, and you can't go with me if you hadn't got what I just told you. So now that God has have, have placed his spirit in us, what is his spirit doing in us? What was he doing in now? When did his flesh, Adam's flesh, become alive? I need God to breathe some life in all of y'all. I'm going to put me in that too. I need him to breathe some life in all of us. We all sober and funny. <laughs> Amen. Amen. So when God breathed into Adam's mouth of the spirit of life, Adam's body got up off, Adam got up off the ground. Right. Life. 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 That pew you sitting on will never move by itself. Why? Because there's no life in it. Thank you, Lord Jesus. It would take living beings to come move that pew. Or an earthquake. Or a giant wind. But it would never move on its own. Thank you. Life propels. Life perpetuates. Life generates. Life motivates. Mm. Life inspires. <clears throat> Life creates. Mm. Thank you, Lord. You're not shouting to me. Mm. Are y'all hearing me? You're going home. Lord. So God breathed in the man's mouth with the spirit of life. Then when Jesus came in our life, God said he sent forth the spirit of his son and our hearts crying out, our fathers who have. We should have been animated with the life of God. He called it, Jesus said to the woman at the well, said it'd be a well of water. Not just sitting there, springing up into Zoe. The God kind of life. All right. But everyone thought that from religious preachers and religious teachers, mm -hmm. he was talking about living forever. You're going to live forever anyway. That's it. It's just way. Thank you. Man was created in the image of God, and now they like it. Man will live forever. Man is an eternal being. Man will never cease to function, cease to exist. Thank you. It's just way. Hallelujah. So when man sin is separated from being able to live with God, yes. to have a relationship, not a relationship, a uh, fellowship and intimacy with God. Mm -hmm. He was still God's creation. Mm -hmm. He was still created in the image of God. Lord. But he lost the right to fellowship. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Speak, Lord, speak. Lord. Speak the Holy Spirit of the living God. Minister to your people right now. And I rebuke the devil for every one of them in the name Amen. of Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. So God's, God's the awesome father, the creator of all things. 
made it possible through his son, the Lord Jesus, for every one of us to tap back into his mm -hmm. essence. Hallelujah. To tap back into his essence. Mm -hmm. The Bible says that we receive not the spirit of abundance begin to fear, but the spirit of the doctor, whereby we even cry. Romans 8, 15, whereby we even cry. Abba, Father. Father. Abba to me mean that, that. Amen. Amen. When you look at a child, the child looks just like a parent. Just small. Thank you, Lord. And you're not spinning around here. <laughs> the child looks just like a parent, but just small. Lord, I mean has hands, has eyes, has ears, has feet, has toes, fingers, everything. Just like them. In their likeness. Amen. And their image. Mm -hmm. Just small. That's not a new thing, God. Maybe not on the outside, but on the inside, you know, <laughs> the new man does. The new man came. The new man came. Come on. And so that's why Paul said, put on the new man. Amen. That is created in the image of Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. Hello? That's why I said, walk in the spirit, you're not fulfilled. And I'm going to say it a different way. The weaknesses and frailty of the flesh. Mm -hmm. Walk in the spirit. Mm -hmm. Well, how you walk in the spirit? Learn to live by the spirit. Man, Most cool. of us live by our physical attributes and abilities and our intellect, mm -hmm. and not by our spirit. And the reason why, and I'm talking about born again believers now, and the reason why is because when we got saved, when we became born again, when we received the gift of God's life, his nature, and it transformed us into his children, we did not take, some of us did not take the yoke of the Lord upon us and learn of him. Amen. So when we went back, children learn how to do like their parents do. Right. Hello, somebody. If the parent, if the child don't get up on a different tutor, a different uh, nurturer, a mentor, or whatever, a teacher, or whatever, a trainer, or whatever, that child would talk just like the broken English or whatever kind of English the wow. parent talk with. Glory to God. Because they're going to emulate their parent. Mm -hmm. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Glory. But what happened to, oh, shot. He come from old city, Ohio. What happened to the saints of God, the church of God? What happened to it? Mm. We want to keep acting like prayer chief and acting like the old human being instead of acting like the sons and daughters of God. What? Amen. Look, what happened, Belton? We didn't put the yoke on. Amen. Take my yoke upon you. Mm -hmm. And what? Learn. Learn. If we continue on to know the Lord, yeah. He will come to us in the rain and life. Have a lot of rain. He right. come out the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. Look. He's talking about the Holy Ghost. But let's get back to what I was saying. So now we got the nature of the life of God in us, right? And that life gives, remember, without the spirit, the flesh is what? Yeah. So if God's nature and spirit is in us, then it should be given what? Life. life. Hello, somebody say, I receive. I receive. I tap into the life force in me right now. Say it. I tap into the life force. And what is the sound of my voice I make for you? Hallelujah. I tap into the life force of God in me now. Amen. And I draw it into my flesh. I draw it. Hallelujah. 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 And it makes my flesh alive. Say it. It makes my flesh alive. Amen. All six and ten of these should have left right there. That's right. Thank you. For the law of the spirit of life in Woo! Christ has made you and I free. Us free from the law of sin and death. Amen. Amen. Do it one more time. See, I draw, I draw the life of God, the life of God. essence, essence. That's, in that's in me, into my flesh. In my flesh. And it makes my flesh, my body, my body. Alive. alive, free. From sickness, from sickness and disease. And disease. For, the law, For the law, the spirit of life, spirit of life in Christ, in Christ have, made me free. have made me free. My body, my body, the law of sin and death. Sickness and disease cannot live, cannot live in my body. In my body. Hey, glory. Thank oh, God. Bless him. Bless him. Oh, bless him. God. Cannot survive. Cannot function. Cannot operate. Cannot strive. Oh, 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 oh
is against the law of death. Amen. Amen. Jesus said, uh, uh, He said, Didn't I say to you, if you believe, you will see the glory of God? Amen. What was He telling us? The glory of God is a manifestation of God's spirit. Say one more time. The glory of God is the manifestation of God's spirit. When we read the sixth chapter of the book of Genesis, when God said his spirit was not all striving, then what did he say after that? I'm going to cut his days off in another 20 years. So what did he say? I'm going to die. He's going to die. Man going to die. He's going to see the function. That's it. Connect the dots. So if God's spirit has been restored to you, hmm. yeah, yeah, don't get happy over it. They're gonna never get into you while you said that. Just thank you, bro. Thank you. He's been connected by. He restored what he's gonna take him. Glory to God. After he lost the spirit of God, yeah, because he had had him in one day. Yeah, how old should you live after you've been restored? Ooh. 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 How long? With long life, will he satisfy me and show me his salvation? salvation. By your spirit, I have made a life. Amen. 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 There's a person. It's a spirit. Thank you. God made you from the dead by the Holy Ghost. Thank you. Let's keep on walking. Deal with the Holy Ghost again. Amen. And you and me. Amen. You don't live in this building. No. You don't live in any hell of this building. The Spirit of God lives in the body of Christ. Amen. 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 I heard Amen. Jesse Plain say something one time, and I thank God for it. I'm glad he gave that revelation. So he was in heaven, Amen. and he saw the Father, and he saw, he saw Jesus. And he said, he don't even know why this person came up because he should have known him. But he, but he asked him, he said, well, I, I see the Father, I, I, see, I see Jesus, where's the Holy Ghost? <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Give hand, give God where you're going. Come on, bless him, bless him, bless him, bless him. So without saying what he said, where's the Holy Ghost? Amen. He's in there with the body of Christ. That's what he said. Thank you. <laughs> Jesus said, What? He'll never leave you. No. I'll escape you. Hallelujah. Talk about the Holy Ghost. Amen. St. John 14, 15, and 16. Amen. He said, I pray the Father, he'll send another comfort to abide with you forever. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. How long? Forever. How long forever? Do you love to keep my commandments? Mm -hmm. And I'll pray to Father. And he'll send you another comforter that will abide with you for help. Yeah. Yeah. So I thank God for the Holy Ghost dwelling in my body. That's right. And I thank God for the Holy Ghost permeating every cell in my body mm -hmm. and regenerating it. Yes, mm -hmm. Amen. 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 So the Holy Ghost didn't just come in our lives. No, no. I'm talking about the born again experience. He didn't just come in our lives just so we can say, I'm going to help. Amen. More, far more. Amen. Yeah. But God so loved the world that He gave Him only begotten Son, that whosoever believe in Him would not perish, but have everlasting Amen. life. Amen. Yeah. So He came to our lives to give us what? God's life, the God kind of life. Yeah. Jesus said, "The thief come to steal, to kill, and destroy, but I've come that you might have life." And have it more oh, abundantly. Man. And everybody went out talking about my pride. The gem, the jewel. Woo! Hello. The meat of, the, meat of the thing mm -hmm. is God's life. Mm -hmm. So he. Thank you. The whole purpose of Christ in us is to impart to us what Adam lost access to. Mm -hmm. To restore the life of God to us. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Lord. That resurrection life that will regenerate and restore life, drive death Lord. out of your physical body, drive death out of your yeah. Hey. 
and make you alive in God. Yeah. Not just your spirit, but your soul and your body. Oh. Amen. God does not just want to live in the holies of holies. No. He wants to live in the holy place, in the outer court. Tell us something. Amen. 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 What are you talking about? Now? He not only just want to live in your spirit, but he want to live in your soul All of you. and in your body. And then Thank you. the outer courts. Thank you. Tell us something. Your social life. Mm -hmm. Amen. So he's touch everybody around you. Amen. That's the revelation of the apostle Peter walking down the street and shouting, touching the sick and the possessed, and they've been delivered and healed. Because God wasn't just in his body. Woo! God was in the very atmosphere around him. Mm -hmm. Somebody let your hand give God a word. That's what God wants to do with you and I. Mm -hmm. hey. Hallelujah. I'm God's suit. Wear me well, Holy well, Ghost. Well, well. Walk and strut your stuff. Let the world see Jesus in me and all around me and with me. But they'll humble themselves and come unto him and be saved. Amen. See, you should be bringing life to a deaf situation. Amen. If Jesus is the father of the living water, what are you? When we talk about the baptism of the Holy Ghost, see, the, uh, the, the born again spirit is a well. People in your local vicinity should be able to draw from you. Yeah. But the baptism of the Holy Ghost is river. Living. It's flowing throughout the land. Yeah. Are y'all hearing what I'm saying? Yeah. Bringing refreshing and life giving water throughout the whole countryside. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. So the, when you see the baptism of the Holy Ghost, it should be a catapult into a greater influence mm -hmm. to the society around you instead of minimizing. Amen. But what did most people do? They religiousized it. They conceptualized it and brought it inside of the field <laughs> and made it a entertainment thing Amen. when it was an endowment, thank you, an enablement, thank you. an equipping with God's divine ability. Amen. That's when we really should start showing out. Glory be to God. They thought we were something when we got born again. Mm -hmm. They should know it now. Amen. Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. Amen. Such as I have. I'm not reminding you on Sunday, right? Such as I have. Give on to thee. Amen. You think such as God has, such as I have. Thank what you me. got? God's nature. Mm -hmm. God's spirit. Woo. God's power. Amen. Amen. God's healing power. Mm. God's delivering power. Mm. God's encouraging Thank and inspiring Lord. power. Mm. That's what I got. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Say it. I said it so it was going to know. Hallelujah. You got his healing power, his delivering power. Hello, somebody. Restoring power. Is the hello, somebody. Amen. 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 What has happened is that we religiousize, mm. become compartmentalized, Amen. and mm. took away from the sheep mm. what God wanted them to have mm. in ecclesiastical order to keep folks separate to me. I don't want that. Right. I want you in the neighborhoods, I want you in the cities and the counties and the states, tearing up stuff. Yeah. What you mean? The devil stuff. Amen. The Bible said the gates of hell should not prevail against the church. Amen. Gates don't move. No. Y'all haven't seen gates mobilizing and moving there's throughout there's the city. There. Gates are stationed at one place. Amen. So what does it mean that the gates won't prevail against the church? That means the church will storm the gates of hell and snatch them off the hinges and carry them off. Amen. And let the captive that's been in, in prison there go free. free. Thank you. I'm a about that. I feel it like coming on that hole. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? You understand what I'm saying? But because what happened, what happened in most of our lives, we didn't take that yoke. Didn't we? we didn't take that yoke. We became religious. So I want you to, if that's you, you've been convicted, you realize you go home and repent tonight and ask God to take you back to that day you first bowed your knee to his Lord Jesus and give you the chance. Amen. Thank the Lord Jesus. Amen. 
Amen. They didn't give God away from us. Oh, yeah. All the brethren of God is in his house. Yeah. To him be all the glory and all the honor. I'm but an instrument. And I thank God to satisfy my mouth with good things. But if I do it like the eagles, I'd live a long life because I realize that everybody ain't out here teaching this. Amen. Everybody Amen. ain't preaching this. Amen. It's sad to say, but it's the truth. Now, if y'all can get it, you take it out there, then we can get it going. Amen. 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 I have a lot more, more to say, but I'm not going to finish it up right now. That's enough to go on and meditate on. To regurgitate. Chew it up again. Swallow it. And regurgitate, chew it up again, and swallow it. Until you get it. Now, I will say this, and I'll say it with great confidence and assurance. It's not God hindering me from walking in there. God not holding it back from you. You're going to have to cast off the mindset of unbelief that was placed in your head. And remember the teaching when you walk by faith. If you wait to feel it, if you wait to sense it, you're going to be waiting for it. When I used the testimony of the young man that I led to Christ and specifically told him don't look for fear. I don't always say that, but I specifically told him not to look for one. I said, don't look for no earthquake, no lightning, none of that. Just know that God has changed that person inside of you that will let you sink to a new creation. And he called me back and told me something to let him smoke. Something to let him stay in the pool and play pool. They told him to go home and read the Bible. So you told me you need to pray. Yeah. Inside of you. Mm -hmm. that's that's because that's what happens when you truly get born again. Yeah. The voice leaves the outside and moves inside. Yeah. And yeah. that yeah. one that used to let you, you wrong tell you, you wrong say you can smoke and drink and do every cuss and everything else. That valley gone. Amen. That valley gone. He take he takes a high. I don't say high Easter, but that's a temporary thing. He goes on permanent vacation. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. There's a new person in there now that's created in the image of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ who had the word of God written in him because he is the word. Mm -hmm. Amen. Imagine like, accessing him. Mm. Access him. You know, I got different programs on my computer. Some of them got passwords on them. Right. So I have to put in the password to have access. And by Father, we thank you, we praise you, we honor you, we give you the glory for the privilege and opportunity to break the bread of life and to share what you put in my spirit with the saints. God, and we know that it's in line with the Holy Spirit because he's both, he's the one that regenerated and he's the one that's powerful. So I thank you, Spirit of the living God, who will guide us in all truth, that you would take this truth and now bring the children into the full manifestation of sonship, that they may know who they are and begin to live who they are in this earth. In your shield's name, I pray. They want to say, Amen. Amen, Amen again. Amen. Amen. Lord, you're so good to us. Mm -hmm. So gracious and kind. Thank right. you, Lord. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you for the word. Thank you for the word. Thank you for the word. Spirit. Thank you for waking me up. Spirit of God. Amen. So you, got, you have a warrant to come out of religion. Mm -hmm. You know, religious people that kill Jesus. Yes, sure. No. Y'all realize that, right? Because yeah. religious folk that had Jesus put to death. Yeah. Because they watch, because they in love with this world. People that in love with this world will try to kill you. Amen. Amen. I'm real. So don't let the enemy fool you. The world and Christ don't get along. Amen. I'm not talking about the planet. <laughs> I know about people that people in the planet Amen. that love this way of life. Amen. They don't get along with Christ. So if you trying to coexist, mm. that's not why you're here. You're here to be a light for them. Amen. You're here to be a salt in their life. To bring them back into relationship with God. Amen. So that they might have that intimacy and that fellowship and that communion. Amen. Amen. That's what you're here for. So if you look at them, they're going to have to be friends with sinners. Friendship with the world of what? Yeah. You need to be a friend with the world of what? Yeah. The yeah. enemy of God. Yeah. Yeah. All that matters, the sign of my voice, you're trying to be friends with the world, you are God's enemy. Yep. Yeah. God ain't for you, he against you. Amen. Stop that. Amen. Amen. And I ain't talking Old Testament, I'm talking New Testament. I'm not going to tell you where it's in. 
I just let you know, thus say the Lord. Amen. Amen. God bless you, faith, for you too. We appreciate you tuning in. I will never lie, mislead you. I will always teach you what does say the Lord. I, I know that now. That's, I tell people all the time. I got saved at an early age. I don't know how to live by no fuck way but by faith. I had a vision. Actually, I had a vision. You know, God deals with me a lot of times with visions and dreams and visions. Uh, I had a vision of myself standing on the street corner. My faith was gone. I was lost. God allowed me to feel myself. He let me see right then that I wouldn't even know how to live if I went back to the world. I'll be a fish out of water. I, I don't know. I, all I know is to trust God. That's all I know how to do. Amen. Amen. The enemy be trying to kill me all the time. I don't ever tell people everything I'll be going through. It didn't be trying to keep me all that. I just keep right on going. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I know. Right. So if God not the devil take me out, then they, I ain't going out without fire. Right. He said it. That's all I know. God said it. Mm -hmm. And if God said it, I believe it. That's enough for me. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Right. So understand, saying, there is no other way. Right. You know what I'm, I'm not trying to be mean. I'm not trying to be cruel to anyone. I'm just trying to show you that God is real. Mm -hmm. He saved me. I know He saved me. I know I'm a born again child of God. I've been to heaven. I've been to hell. I've seen the similitude of the Father. I mean, that light. I couldn't see through the light. It was too bright. I've seen Jesus. I've seen the Holy Spirit. I've met some of the patriarchs. And that's fact. That experience that I've had with God. I, and I, and when, I, when I came out when I came out of the missy, I said, Was I there in the flesh or was I there in the spirit? Which one was it? <laughs> I don't know. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. So was it real or was it wasn't real? In the flesh and the spirit, I don't know. Mm -hmm. But it was real to me. Mm -hmm. So when I came back to the earth, I, I what I'm doing here? This <laughs> <laughs> ain't my home. What I'm doing here? Why? Yeah. <laughs> so this is another time. What I'm doing? Mm -hmm. But you know, it's amazing to me that that that. You know, and it don't happen all the time. Because I don't praise it all the time. That's all I'm saying. Mm -hmm. I have a job to do, a mission. What's that? To set an example to teach people the word of the Lord. Mm -hmm. If I'm in heaven all the time, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, if I want to go to heaven, why you want to go to heaven? Mm -hmm. What are you going to do when you get there? Right. You know what I want to be? Just like me. But the reality when you know, I, and I've said this, my husband knows it, uh, some of you in my Facebook, you people that I know this, but my desire is that I told that I want the millennium here, here. I want to leave the earth. I want to go throughout the whole universe and see everything that's out there. It don't take but a, a minute second of time. I can be to see the whole universe, you can be looking at me, and I'll be the gone, you're still looking at me. I'm gone when I come back, you never saw me. Thank you. That's the way it is in spirit work. Mm -hmm. I got to hear what I'm saying. Like a lot of times I'm in people's living room, I'm sitting with them in their car, they don't even know I'm there. Because mm -hmm. that's the way it is in spirit work. Mm -hmm. So I'll be hearing things they say, I'll be watching things they be doing. And then when I get up and talk about it, I'm going to pull they be doing. Mm -hmm. That's my business. <laughs> they be going to hide in the world because it happens a lot. I'll be in the middle of doing some driving somewhere, all of a sudden I'm with somebody. Sometimes I'm just in their conversation. Mm -hmm. Amen. Sometimes I'm sitting in the house. Sometimes, just like I was sitting there a few minutes ago, and I was, and I was, I saw a vision or something, and I said, "Oh, I said, what that long?" Mm -hmm. Now I knew what it was. I just got through saying his eyes are running to and fro about the order of season, so it's just going to have to fall apart, further to avoid him. Mm -hmm. So I knew he came to show himself strong in my behalf because he knew I needed it right then. Right. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Thank you. Yeah. I didn't reject him and send him away. I just wanted to know who he was. Then he told me. He reminded me. He just said it. I said, thank you, Lord. I read it. Thank you. Thank God. Amen. And divine enable me. So don't, don't be afraid to seek this. Don't be afraid to thirst at home. That's right. Because it's yours. It belongs to you. This is what Adam lost. That intimacy. That fellowship. That communion. And it's only through that is your body and your life will be infused with God's life. So you got to, you know, Jesus said abide in the vine, or you can't bring forth fruit. That's what I'm saying the same thing. <laughs> Even though I'm using a different lesson style. That's what he was talking about. So you can't have his life flowing in you and through you mm -hmm. unless you 
had an intimacy, mm -hmm. that fellowship, that communion. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. And you ain't gonna just get in any of your kind. You can't come with it either. No. Oh no. So when we try to slip into God's presence with it either, you might not come, you might not, your body might not make it. See, we're not talking about, I'm not explaining it to you. I'm, I'm trying my best. We're not talking about his mercy. Mm -hmm. We're not talking about his grace, his mm -hmm. forgiveness. We're talking about walking and talking with him and he with you. Mm -hmm. That's another mm -hmm. level. That's when you no longer trying to be saved. Thank you. That's when you're walking out some shit. You understand what I'm saying? Man. Okay. And if you listen to this over and over again, every time you I'm telling you, I'm going to mm -hmm. on, on the ministry that God gave me. I listen to my own teachings. You just go out and do it. I did it just. I, I, I heard it already. So I was ordering all this other stuff. This thing thinking about ordering some more stuff. God said to me, this is his word, God's word, God's words to me. Mm. Why? Yeah, what? Your lessons have more word than theirs. So I started listening to mine. It's tearing up because of that. Got me rocking and rolling, coming down the road. Because of the tangibleness of the Lord. And somebody might say, well, I don't feel it. You know why? Because you're not open to it. I love the word of God. Amen. But I never understood that, that God pouring through me, what he's pouring through me was so powerful that I started lifting my own. And I'm real. It is. It's, 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 you know, I'm not trying to toot my own. I'm tooting the Holy Ghost on. Because all this is Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to play it right. All this comes from the Lord. Amen. Amen. So God bless you. Faith for YouTube. Lord willing, nothing happens. We'll see you Sunday. And if, again, you know, it's Cash App. You know, the uh, P.O. Box. And I better get somebody that you knows. Cash App is dog sign. That will be 3921. I'll mail that address to P.O. Box 769. Dillon, South Carolina, 39536. We do pray God does answer. Amen. Amen. Miracles, Amen. signs, and wonders are happening. So don't let the devil rob you of what God has for you just because you think nobody can get a prayer through. We don't, I don't have to get one through because I'm already through. I just feel dead. Mm -hmm. Hello? Yeah. You just, and I always say this, be open to receive. Yeah. So I already know that God has what I ask him for funding, but they got to be open to it. Yeah. See, someone right now that has these nagging headaches, I rebuke that in the name of the Lord Jesus right. Christ of Nazareth. Whatever called the Father, I thank you that the Spirit of God is there right now and it sets things that are out of order in order in, in Jesus' name. Someone has been having pressure on your chest. I don't know what it is. I just sense it that there's pressure on your chest. By the power of the Spirit of God, yes. I release you now. Jesus. Be healed you. and receive your healing. Someone has you. been having shortness of breath. I rebuke that. I'm not saying it's COVID. I don't believe it's COVID. I rebuke it now and I release you from it. In Jesus' name, receive your healing right now. That someone even have a weakness in your, I think you're right there. I could be wrong. Receive your deliverance Thank now. You, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name, could be though. You know, sometimes people don't know. God bless you. Give God the glory. Thank I'm not the Lord. Healer. I just see what God said. Amen. Amen. And God is doing the work. God is doing the work. You know, I stop trying to. to, to, to I'm getting out of God's business. You know what I'm saying? Amen. I can't heal nobody. Amen. All I do is say what God said, do what God said. Do. Amen. 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 I used to be trying. No. In the name of Jesus. <laughs> that ain't going to make it work no better than in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Or by his strength. Amen. 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 Because in order to day, you got to receive. You got to receive. God bless you. See ya, son. God bless you. Come with some coffee. Thank you, Lord Jesus.